We love our pets like family. So imagine seeing this FedEx driver hit your dog and then just keep on going. That dog survived, but is still in a lot of pain. His family lives in Caddo Mills, which is about 20 miles east of Rockwall. And tonight they talked to Matt Howerton. There you go. Let's go outside. I want you to meet one tough pup. He loves everybody, always wags his tail. His name is Milo. He's just been a good dog for a long time. He's 13 and he's lucky. His back legs are both cut on the inside. To still be alive. Down to muscle and tendons. And it's no thanks to this FedEx driver. You see, owner Susan Jenkins found Milo pretty banged up last Sunday and just acting like he was in a lot of pain. Milo's back legs were cut down to the muscles, part of his tail to the bone, and dead tissue was found on his abdomen, forcing doctors to surgically remove it. He's since been wrapped up with sutures. The Jenkins didn't know what happened to him, but check their security footage just in case. That's when they noticed that FedEx driver coming down their driveway, and then as she turns around, you see Milo right in front of her truck. And at that point, she hits Milo. Um, you can hear him yelp in the video. He gets up and, and walks off. Milo limps away, and the driver, she gets out, checks the truck, but does nothing more. She drops off the package and leaves. I think most people um, with any kind of common sense or, or decency would have stopped and tried to at least knock on the door and said, I don't know for sure that there's a problem, but I may have just hit one of your dogs. FedEx has seen the video and told the Jenkins it will pay for Milo's vet bills, but the company didn't tell WFAA what happened to the driver. Jenkins worries she may do something like this again. As for Milo, he'll be okay, but for a dog his age, Jenkins hopes this moment doesn't speed up the time he has left with her family. It makes you angry seeing something you care about so much in so much pain. In Cattle Mills, I'm Matt Howerton.